Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the URL object in JavaScript. Uh, so essentially, uh, you can think of a URL object as being a wrapper around a URL string. And it allows you to read and also modify the different components or parts of a URL. So it's super useful and definitely good to know about, especially if your web page or web application is mostly asynchronous with uh, many fetch or AJAX requests. So it also ties in nicely with not only URL search params, but also um, the fetch API. And all of the content covered in this video tutorial is going to be supported by most, if not all, of the modern web browsers, unfortunately not including Internet Explorer. So, let's go inside the text editor for this page, and I'll show you how to actually use this URL object. So, inside here, let's go down to the JavaScript of this page, and firstly, just create a new instance of URL. So, Let's go down here and make a new constant, call this constant my URL equal to a new URL just like this. And of course, right here we have the URL constructor. So we're going to pass in here a URL string. For example, let's pass in HTTPS YouTube.com uh, just like that. So now we have a URL object for the URL string YouTube.com. So now this is a wrapper around this URL string. So I can now console.log my URL and we can see what this object actually contains. So uh, saving this and then refreshing inside the console, we get right here, of course, the URL object. Expanding this gives us all of these different properties. So we can see here how useful uh, this URL object is going to be. We can see um, it is successfully parsed the URL and we have all of the different components of the URL um, separated already for us. So if you want to get the, um, the uh, protocol of the URL, it's so easy. You just say, for example, myurl.protocol, and now you have the URL, sorry, you have the protocol for that particular URL. And it's just as easy to actually set or change uh, these different components. So it makes it a lot easier than having to do that stuff manually. So for example, let's go back inside the editor and we are going to change um, the host name. Okay, so inside here, we can say, for example, my URL dot host name. We can change it to, for example, something like uh, google.com instead of the youtube.com. So saving this and then refreshing, and we can see right here, we've changed the host name from YouTube to Google right here, and all the other properties have been updated um, with that change. So it is all in sync, and that's why it's really nice to work with, okay? So if you were to actually, or sorry, um, if you wanna actually get the full URL after you made your changes or whatever you gotta do, that's done using the href property. So you can of course just say my URL dot href and you'll get the entire URL um, complete. Okay. Also, um, let's go back inside here. Uh, the same thing as the href property is saying console.log, for example, and we can say my URL dot to string. And this will do the exact same thing as the href property. So uh, saving this and then refreshing gives us this result right here, google.com, just like that in its complete form. Um, so also I want to show you how you can use or um, actually modify the URL search params or the query string for the URL. So um, it could be done in two ways. Uh, the first way I can show you right now, it's done by modifying the search property. So we can say, for example, right here, uh, my URL dot search is equal to, and then firstly, we can specify the question mark to mark the beginning of the query string. And we can say, for example, name equals Dom and age equals 56 years of age. Okay, so now saving this and then refreshing, we can see now, um, expanding this, of course, now we have the uh, we have the search property right here set to that value, and also in the full URL we can see it has appended that to the end of the URL to give us this right here. So once again, we can see how useful this can really be. All right. Um, along with that, it is also going to perform some encoding for you. 
So, back inside here, if I was to add a space in my name, so for example, name equals Dom, and I can say space, let's just say uh, mate, so Dom space mate. Okay, so saving this and refreshing, we can see that the percent %20 encoding has already been added to the, um, uh, to the search property, um, and also, of course, the full URL. So, uh, that is one way and probably the least preferred way to change or um, set uh, the uh, the query string or the search uh, or the search params on a URL object. Uh, the better way is to use the actual integrated search params property itself. So this right here, this search params property is actually an instance of a URL search params. So with that being said, we can of course access all of the methods of the useful URL search params to set and change the query string for this URL. So back inside here, let's just comment out this line, uh, then go down here. Okay, and we can say my URL dot search params dot, and we can say for example um, set. We can set the name to be Dom once again, and we can set the age to be let's make him seventy two this time round. So saving this and then refreshing, of course, now we can see uh, not only uh, once again has the search property updated. Okay, right here. Um, also, of course, uh, the complete URL now contains, once again, um, the URL search params or the query string. So that's probably the preferred way um, to set the query string for a URL. Obviously, uh, doing it this way is also fine, but it's going to be a bit harder for you to actually code and make sure you're splitting it by the end and doing all that stuff to actually construct um, the well-formed uh, well URL string. It is much easier to just use the set um, property on the URL search params object. Okay. Um, so now I want to show you how you can actually use the URL object for the current page. So. Uh, let's just get rid of all this stuff right here and then inside the constructor let's instead pass in window.location.href so uh, many of you probably have already seen this property but essentially uh, window location href is going to give you the URL for the current page so essentially we're just passing that into the constructor for the URL object Okay, so this means if I console.log once again, my URL, save this and refresh, we can see now, of course, we get the URL object for the current page. As you can see, I've already got a query string to say name equals Dom, so we can see it appearing right here. Search name equals Bob, and then all that stuff works perfectly fine. So, um, one of the reasons to actually do this is to extract um, the search params or the query string parameters from the current page. Um, so to do this, we can go back inside the text editor and we can of course just say for example, uh, console log my URL dot search params and we can say dot get and then pass in name right there um, to get the value for the name URL parameter. So now saving this and then refreshing, we expect to see Bob in the console, refresh this and we get Bob right there. This is definitely a good alternative um, to what used to happen previously uh, before um, this feature existed or this object existed. Um, there were many examples online to actually extract the search params from a, uh, from a uh, URL which involved many line functions which a lot of, uh, with a lot of regex, a lot of splitting um, to actually retrieve those values. Right here it's really easy. You simply just say of course this dot get and pass in um, your search param right there. So definitely a better alternative to using that function based, uh, long function based approach. Um, and finally here I want to show you um, how you can use the URL object uh, for a fetch request. So for this, uh, let's just go and remove all of this stuff right here and we're going to make a new um, URL object. So we can say once again const my URL equal to a new URL and this time I'm going to pass in um, probably just my local host so I can just say HTTPS, sorry HTTP um, local host and let's just say I've got a file at a particular um, location. So for example, I'm going to say right here assets, then I believe I have decode.css. Let me just confirm this real quickly. So right here, yep, assets and then decode.css. So here we have my CSS style sheet 
for most of uh, most if not all of my videos so this right here of course is my URL so um, to use this with fetch we can simply say for example fetch and now we're gonna pass in the URL itself into the fetch function so we can say right here my URL and we are basically done so now fetch can quite easily use this URL to make the request so now I can say for example dot then I can say function of course uh, get the response then I can say return response dot text and I can say dot then function and get the text then I can of course say console.log just log out the contents of that CSS file okay so uh, saving this and then refreshing gives us this right here we get nothing okay interesting uh, you know what actually let's go back inside here um, this this needs to be youtube.local my mistake so youtube.local and then of course this stuff right here so it's now saving this and refreshing we can try again and of course now we get the CSS style sheet uh, for decode.css so inside the network tab we can see of course it is successful it is passed through the URL so what makes it even more useful is um, of course that can be done quite easily like if you were to just pass in the string it'd be the exact same thing but what's useful is I can actually set my search params on this URL object itself so for example I can say my URL dot search params dot set and I can say for example let's say name make this DOM once again and set the age to be once again uh, 72 obviously in this case I'm simply loading a CSS file so uh, these params won't be useful at all but to demonstrate I'm gonna save this and refresh and we can see in the console now fetch has automatically added the URL search params from the URL object to the fetch request scrolling down once again just double check we can see here query string parameters named on age 72 so this is definitely very nice and it fits in really well with the fetch uh, API to make requests with search parameters okay and that right there is the URL object in JavaScript thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later